Hello, American friends of the Prado. I'm Christine Seidel, curator of the special exhibition that the Prado has dedicated to Marinos and that will open on March 8th and run until June 13th. Before showing you the exhibition, I would like to thank you, the American friends of the Prado, for supporting the exhibition catalog, and the, which is a research catalog, and accompanies the uh, exhibition. The exhibition, Marinos, painter from Reimerswale, is the first monographic exhibition dedicated to this enigmatic artist. The Prado Museum owns the largest collection of paintings by Marinos, eight in total. They have been restored since 2018 and are now presented for the first time to the audience in a monographic exhibition and joins it together with other major loans from the Louvre in Paris, from the Hermitage in St. Petersburg, from Ghent, the Museum of Fine Arts in Ghent, and the Thyssen Museum here in Madrid has lent us one of its paintings as the, the Academia Real de Bellas Artes de San Fernando here in Madrid, the earliest known signed and dated painting by Marinos. The aim of the exhibition is to present the work of this painter who worked in Zeeland, a region in the southern Netherlands, to the audience and to introduce one of the core themes of his work. He's known to have painted only relatively a limited number of subjects and the most famous certainly are his tax collectors and so-called money changers, which is a topic that in terms of iconography, in terms of its tradition in the later Middle Ages, had always had uh, a certain negative connotation as it shows dealings, in, dealings with money, people involved in the money trade. But it seems that Marinos took these subjects and trans transformed them into something, into something else. It seems that with his paintings and the variants that Marinos created in his works, he tried to appeal to a new clientele of uh, owners of people who, who bought his paintings, who were interested in his paintings, and thus makes us rethink the meaning of, of his paintings when we can see them uh, all together and take the time to compare them. Thank you, American friends, for making it possible to share all that we have discovered about this uh, fascinating painter in an English publication, and I hope you enjoy it.